Hi guys, this is Arna from uh, Coding Blocks and uh, we are starting this brand new series of videos in which uh, we will be delving into building a real world application using Vue.js. So uh, we are going to see how Vue.js gets used in production level projects. I mean, you're learning a new technology, you just start out with something like to-do lists and you know, a simple form. And while those are really helpful in trying to learn that particular subject, uh, when uh, we actually build a project which is similar to a real world application like Facebook or Quora or Medium or Instagram, we really find ourselves confident in using that technology and uh, we can very easily and really fast build uh, further projects using that particular framework or using the particular technology. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to use this uh, project called realworld.io and it's a really interesting thing so it's been set up by uh, the guys at uh, go thingster uh, they are also a online uh, platform for teaching uh, web development uh, just like us at coding blocks so uh, this uh, real world uh, what it does is that it's basically a, a medium clone we call uh, conduit so uh, if you just go to the website of conduit you will see that you know you can like see articles and you can like see a global feed of articles you can uh, go to any particular article and uh, you can uh, you know read this article further uh, you can write a comment here i can say like nice post okay and you can like favorite an article or you can follow the particular user in question and uh, yeah you can do uh, a bunch of these stuff uh, and there's also of course the option to you know uh, log in and log out and all of that stuff uh, you can change your user settings um, how is this made possible is uh, the real world project basically defines a uh, api spec so uh, there is a uh, common API spec uh, which uh, like defines stuff like uh, so uh, let me just go to the API um, yeah so uh, there's gonna be like profiles and there's going to be articles and uh, there are comments and tags and all of these different kind of data uh, that uh, the, that is going to come uh, through uh, json that's all defined and all the endpoints are defined so if i make a get request to uh, api user what is the response that i'm going to get if i make a post request so the api is defined and now uh, you can do either one of the things you can either build a front end which uh, consumes this api which is basically going to look exactly like this. And if I take a look at uh, like the React front end and the Angular front end and the say the View front end, uh, all three of them. If I open these uh, demos, uh, so this is the uh, Angular demo, this is the React demo, and uh, this is the Vue.js uh, demo. Uh, yeah, there you go. So you'll see that they all look all the same. Uh, this uh, the uh, this is the React one. This is the Angular one. This is the uh, Vue.js one. So they, they, they all uh, basically look the same. Uh, so we are able to replicate the exact same functionality on our website uh, while building it using different front end frameworks because the API is exactly the same. So you can build the exact same website using different frameworks. Um, also, what you can do is you can build different uh, back end frameworks and uh, they all uh, expose the same API. So you can build like somebody has built a uh, Node.js one, somebody's built uh, one in Laravel, somebody has built one in ASP.NET, and a lot of these. So if you're learning like a new uh, backend technology or you're learning a new frontend technology, uh, one of the best ways to get a real good confidence that you can build this is using uh, trying to build the real world API using your backend or trying to consume the real world API using the frontend. Um, some people have tried building mobile apps also using that. So we're gonna uh, do is we will try to build a Vue.js app 
uh, which uh, would uh, basically look exactly like the real world demo pro, uh, app and it's gonna work like that um, so things that we will need is uh, we're gonna use view CLI version 3 so we're gonna build a uh, CLI view CLI project so I think you should go through the documentation of view CLI once and of course the view JS documentation uh, you would need to have a bit of idea about the the template syntax inside view uh, computed properties and watchers and uh, you know uh, how to do list rendering and how to do event handling so these are things that we will be needing we uh, would be building our app using single file components so uh, if you're using a project that uses uh, view cli then view cli then it automatically uses single file components but you should just read up about single file components single file components look like this um, that's a single file it's a dot view file it contains the template the script and the style all of them in the same file um, so uh, we would be using single file components in our project um, we would be using vuex for uh, state management so uh, vuex has this concept where you have views and you have actions in your state the actions can modify the state when the state changes the views update and the view can then run action so it's circular uh, one way data flow and this is basically like the vuex architecture there are um, actions there are mutations and there are state so you should probably go through the uh, core concepts of uh, vuex also once to get an idea of what we're using and of course uh, finally we're going to use view router to handle our routes because if you like go to uh, the app demo.realworld.io you'll see that um, there are like different paths like there's the global feed like if i add a new article so it's on the slash editor path if i go to settings it's on the slash settings path right so we're going to use all of that stuff so uh, next few videos we're going to just dive uh, straight in and i'm uh, going to build this with you one of the resources that we'll need is like if you go to the uh, uh, spec you will see that uh, there is um, the api is already uh, there it's uh, available at uh, conduit.productionready.io slash api if you just uh, you know go to this uh, back end so um, i think posts Uh, I don't know. Oh, so there's like articles. Um, let's try out articles. Yeah, so we have this working API out there, uh, on, uh, conduit.productionready.io slash api we will be using of course this api to build our app and uh, there is uh, the uh, there is a customized uh, bootstrap uh, template out here uh, demo.productionready.io slash main.css so this is a copy of bootstrap with uh, the custom styling like the green style that uh, the front end uses so we will be using this uh, css uh, for our project uh, there are self templates given like the uh, header the header and the footer layouts the pages for home login register profile settings create uh, edit article an article so there are all this collection of pages are given so when you're creating a production uh, ready uh, so when you're creating like apps for production you'll be working mostly in a team and there would be a design team who would have designed some templates already so you would get the templates in form of uh, html like this so i think that's it uh, we'd be able to uh, you know get a hold on the project using this we have got our templates ready we've got our uh, css file ready we have got a live uh, api out there which we can try and we have the api documentation uh, with us so uh, let's just dive into our project and let's start building and see how we go okay